Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Soli C. As you can tell by the title of the video today, I'm gonna be walking y'all through the six times that I wrap my hair. Now, before I get into that, y'all, I just wanna discuss with you some options and I wanna overview with y'all what I use, right? <laughs> So when I decided that I was gonna start this journey, before starting this journey, I started looking into options on what I should use to wrap my hair. We all know that some changes have to be made with locks. So I just wanted to make sure before I started this journey that I was prepared, right? Just kind of overviewing with y'all some options. You know, there are people out there that use silk scarves or satin scarves. There are folks out there that use bonnets, right? Now, there is another option that I ran across. I don't even know what this is called, y'all. I think it's called a braid bonnet, I believe. So what's nice about this is that, you know, you have the front, it's securing your hair down, right? And then you still have room for your locks to kind of move around, right? So definitely a, you know, a great option. Now, I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. Your girl got a big head, y'all. She got a big head. This this don't work for me. <laughs> it don't work. The circumference of my head is not normal. It's 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 so unfortunate, y'all, because sometimes I be feeling like I'm discriminated against. I can't go and get a hat, like just like, you know, a cute hat and just rock it. Like I can't do it. It is so terrible because it's so much my style and I can't do it. I gotta go and get it customized. Same y'all, same. <laughs> this don't work for you girl, but for y'all folks out there that got normal size heads, this I believe is a great option. You know, it's giving you that security. It's it's holding your hair down and then at the same time your locks are able to be free and and flow around so like i said i believe this is called the braid bonnet you can find it at your local beauty supply store there are also people out there that use uh satin pillowcases and for me that's just not enough in regards to security i like my hair to when it's wrapped down or whatever, I like it to be secure. I, I don't want it to be out and just, I, I, that's just not for me. Like, <laughs> it's just not for me, y'all. So what I use is I use a satin scarf, right? Um, this is the brand that I use. I found it at my local beauty supply store. And the shape of it, it's a square. Now, what I do is I cut it in half, y'all. I basically cut it in half at a diagonal and make two triangular scarves. So I basically get in two for the price of one, which is nice. What I like to do first, y'all, is because this scarf is uneven because I cut it, and, and don't get me wrong, you can go and you can get two triangular scarves whatever but like i said i get two for the price of one so i fold it in you know to make it more even across the area that i cut it and then what i like to do is i like to flatten my hair out and i push it kind of in a backwards motion and flatten it out and then just go in And what I do, y'all, is I, you know, poke those ears out. I just make sure, you know, my back area is pushed up and out of the way. So I push it up just to make sure my locks are laying flat. Especially, I don't know if y'all can see this, but in the back, I have some little babies in the back, y'all, that, you know. So I like to make sure I push those up and get them out of the way. And then what I do, y'all, is I go in and I tie once and then I double knot. So I go in and I tie it twice. Just 
just to make sure that it's secure. And you see how nice and flat that's laying, y'all? I like that. That, personally, for me, is like how I like things to be. I like to feel like my hair is securely wrapped. <laughs> Because, I mean, if you were to just use a bonnet, your hair, you know, your locks are going to be kind of just free-flowing through your bonnet. So this allows them to be secure. And then at the same time, not only are you securing, you know, your locks and holding them, but that new growth, I notice, like when I get new growth, it flattens it out. So it makes it not look so projected, if that makes sense or looking like it's as fuzzy per se. So it flattens that out too. And um, I just make sure that my edges are in there as well and, and covered and secure. And then lastly, y'all, I take a bonnet because, you know, I could just keep it moving with just this, but the thing is, if you look, my locks are still exposed a little bit and I don't wanna have any potential lint issues. So I lastly go in with the bonnet and I cover it with the bonnet. Now I've heard conflicting things when it comes to bonnets. They can cause your, your locks to kind of crinkle up, whatever. Yeah. Y'all, it works for me. I'm, I'm okay if I have one lock towards the end, if it's kind of turning one direction. Every day when I, you know, look at my hair, it kind of looks a little bit different anyways, and I'm cool with that. I just like the security that this offers me. And my bonnet size that I use, this is a large, but you know, as my locks grow, I'll likely go into like an extra large. But for right now, this size works well for me and I get this at a local beauty supply store as well. So yeah, y'all, that's what I use. Uh, it's so funny because my dad has locks all the way down his back. And I remember when he first started his locks, y'all. And he used to just be walking around with his with his satin scarf and his bonnet on, like just out and about, just, <laughs> just be like this dude. But it works, y'all, this works well for me. Now, to get into the times that I wrap my hair, in no particular order, and I am not saying that because I do this, that you need to do this too. That is not what I'm saying. These are just the times that I wrap my hair and what works for me. So number one, I wrap my hair when I'm lounging around. So if I'm lounging around the house, I'm laying around on the couch, whatever, whatnot, clank, clank. Clank, clank. I'm wrapped up, okay? I'm wrapped up. Number two, when I'm cooking, okay? I personally am very bad with smells. And, and everybody knows, when you cook, you smell like what you cooked. Your house smells like what you cooked. I don't want my hair to smell like what I cooked, y'all. I don't want that. I don't want my hair to smell like that. So when I cook, I wrap my hair. Number three. When I clean, y'all, when I clean, I be, I be in there. Get in there, I be, I be, I be in there, y'all. And the thing is, when I'm cleaning, I don't wanna be touching those chemicals and then touching my hair. And I mentioned it in a previous video that until my locks are mature, I am not manipulating my hair in any way. I'm not styling it. So that includes pinning it up out of the way, uh, you know, pulling it up in a ponytail. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just letting my locks hang, okay? I'm just, I'm just letting them hang. So when I'm cleaning, you know, I don't wanna be putting my hands in my hair while I'm touching products. So when I clean, I make sure to wrap my hair. Number four when I work out, y'all. So listen, I've heard of folks using bandanas and you know, I can see why some people use it. You know, a bandana is gonna absorb 
any sweat that you have accumulating on your scalp, your hair, whatever. And I sweat in my head when I work out. But my only, uh, why I don't wanna use a bandana is because I would think that a bandana is going to attract lint. So what I do is I stick with my satin scarf and I don't wear the bonnet, I just wear a satin scarf. So like I mentioned to y'all, I cut my scarves in half so then that gives me a second scarf and I have my dedicated workout scarf and then I have my scarf that I wear all the time. So my scarf that I use to work out with, I tend to wash that every day because my hair is sweating, I don't want my scarf to be smelly, I don't want that to cause my hair to be smelly. Now when I'm done working out, I make sure to take my scarf off right away, let my hair breathe. I spray my hair down with my rosemary stimulating spray. I swear y'all, they, they, they need to promote you, girl. They, they do, they do y'all. But to be honest, I'm thinking about creating my own spray. So I'm y'all be the first to know, the first to know. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, when I work out, I make sure to wear my satin scarf when I work out. Number five, when I sleep, y'all. When I sleep, I clank, clank, wrap it up, y'all. Clank, clank, wrap it up. You could definitely pair whatever you're wrapping your hair up with with a satin pillowcase. You could definitely do that. You know, there are some people out there that say, my bonnet is falling off in the middle of the night, what have you. But I'm gonna let y'all know something. This is something that I realized more recently that just completely went over my head. I was experiencing my bonnet falling off, you know? And then I thought about it and I'm just like, when was the last time you bought a bonnet? <laughs> That's probably the issue. If your bonnet's falling off, y'all, it might be just because the band has loosened up over time. Because I noticed once I got a new bonnet, haven't had any issues with it occasionally falling off in the middle of the night. Yeah, y'all, if y'all bonnet is, is falling off, you might just need to go get a new bonnet. It's just probably just worn out. <laughs> All right, y'all, so number six. Now don't come for me in the comments, don't. Don't come for me. <laughs> Listen, y'all. So when I take a shower, clink, clink, wrap it up, y'all. I wrap it up. I take it a step further. I, <laughs> I do put on a shower cap. There are conflicting things out there where people say you shouldn't wear a shower cap, you shouldn't tie your hair up when you take a shower or whatever because it'll cause more frizziness, it'll cause your locks to loosen up or your retwist to loosen up more quickly, what have you. But to be frank with y'all, that's not an issue for me. To be honest, tying my hair up in general, so if you check out my last video, when I got my first retwist done, my hair was more frizzy throughout my locks than it is now. So tying my hair up helps to decrease frizziness for me as well. So that's not an issue for me. I don't feel like my hair is any more frizzy because I'm tying my hair up and wearing the shower cap when I take a shower. When I take a shower, y'all, I be up in there. Like, I be getting my back and, and, and you know, like, do y'all be doing that? <laughs> jokes, y'all, jokes. I be in there, though. And if I don't wear a shower cap, it's gonna do me more damage because I'm gonna get my hair wet. Like, and then at that point, I might be having issues with unraveling and everything else, who knows? But. Whatever the case may be, y'all, uh, when I take a shower, I make sure that I not only, you know, wrap my hair up with my satin scarf and, and my bonnet, but I also throw a shower cap on, y'all. <laughs> so let me know, y'all, let me know down below in the comments when y'all wrap y'all hair. I'm curious to know. The times that I mentioned, they definitely work well for me and I'm gonna continue to do it. But I'm curious to hear y'all feedback. But before, you know, we end this video, I wanna show y'all what it looks like when I take this off, right? When I take off this satin scarf, this bonnet, just to show y'all what it look like. 
So just removing my bonnet here and my satin scarf. So you see how flat and secure it looks, y'all? I like that. I like that it's very secure. And what I do is I just fluff it out with my hand, fluff it out, and then I shake, y'all. She ready. <laughs> she ready. That's it, y'all. As simple as that. As simple as that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe, y'all. But until next time, peace and love. Bye.